You know about the vertical axis, the alignment of posture. You know about moving from the Dan Tien. But one of the main things to remember about Tai Chi is that it's supposed to be effortless. And I mention this because it's so different than the way that we've been brought up to think about exercise. And so as you go through all your Tai Chi movements, the different Tai Chi postures, the goal of it is to breathe and see how effortlessly you can let the body go into these motions. So as we keep our vertical axis or our posture and we breathe and we sink our chi into the leg that we're shifting onto, we can literally let every muscle in the body relax on top of the skeleton as the skeleton aligns posturally over the Dan Tien. So again, Tai Chi is meant to be done effortlessly. Now realize that it, sometimes you'll feel a little tight because you're trying to hold your balance and your postural uh, adjustments aren't, aren't made yet. This takes time over the months and over the years. You'll find progress very quickly. Uh, you'll find that your posture and your balance will improve very quickly. But at the same time, you want to be very relaxed with yourself. You want to be very accepting of where you are right here and right now. Just so you'll have an idea of how important the posture is in Tai Chi and really in every aspect of our daily life, there's a great little exercise that you can do. With your feet about shoulder width apart, let your knees bend a little bit. And just close your eyes and take a few breaths so that you can let your whole body relax. And again, as you settle down in the horse stance, your tailbone drops. And the top of the head's drawn up towards the ceiling, the chin slightly tucked in. So we have this elongated posture and we can allow it to just relax over the Dan Tien, down over the, the center of the feet really. And again, just taking a couple more breaths to just let your shoulders and all the muscles relax on the bones with each exhale. Just letting go. Good, now with your eyes still closed, notice how you feel relaxed in your postural alignment or your vertical axis. Now let your head lean forward about six inches. Okay, you feel your toes digging in, you feel your calves digging in, you feel muscles tightening up all the way through the top of your head just to hold you up. Now let your head move back until it's lined up over the, the feet or the Dan Tien again. And you can notice how the muscles can then again be, relax. Just take a couple more breaths to let yourself relax with the eyes still closed. Feeling how effortless it can be to just stand. And now let your head lean back a couple inches. Immediately you feel the back of the calves and the ankles tightening up and really all the way up through your body, through the thighs and on up, you feel that tightening. Okay, good, now just bring your head back up into your vertical axis or your alignment. Take a couple of breaths and relax. So this shows you how taxing it can be to have poor posture during the day. So with Tai Chi, we're challenged to move the body in 95% of the ways that it can move. And by doing so, it enables us to see where we're holding on to tension and what our postural problems are. And by becoming aware of tension spots and, and postural problems, we can take breaths and we can allow that feeling of lightness and adjustment to kind of flow through the body. And so as you're going through your Tai Chi movements, the goal as you let the breath out is to allow the body to kind of untie and unknot. It's kind of like an internal biofeedback exercise where with every breath, you're letting go of tension that pulls you out of your uh, correct posture and uh, thereby enabling you to move almost effortlessly. And as you learn how to do this in Tai Chi, you'll learn how to move this way through every aspect of your life.